Buenas and Hafa de Guahusi Pulen, and this is Pulen Speaks. And today we are going to construct stative sentences using nouns. A stative sentence is a simple sentence that describes a state of being, such as the dog is black, I am Tsamoru, the woman is a teacher. The formula for constructing stative sentences is as follows. Noun or modifier plus noun or pronoun. In a previous lesson, we went over how to construct stative sentences using pronouns. Here is a quick refresher. Take any noun or modifier and place it in front of any Zu type pronoun, such as in the following examples. Bunitu zu. I am handsome. Tsamoru siha. They are tsamoru. Donkulu gui. He slash she is big. Please note that the to be verb, such as am, are, and is, don't have direct equivalence in saboru. Rather, it is already understood in the sentence structure. The process for constructing stative sentences using nouns is similar to using pronouns. Just use a noun instead of a pronoun. So let's replace the zoo type pronouns with the following nouns. Guahan, pa, and Gatlagu. So we end up with Bunitu Guahan, Tsamoru Pa, and Dunkulu Gatlagu. However, we are not finished yet. And that's because we need to add the articles. Remember in the previous lesson, those three articles, Iza, C, and E. See? I told you it will come full circle. Guahan is a proper place name, so we place Idza in front of Guahan. Pa is a proper name of a person, so we place C in front of Pa. And Gatlagu is a common noun, so we place E in front of Gatlagu. Now these are complete stative sentences. Bunitu Idza Guahan. Guam. Is beautiful. Tsamoru si pa. Pa is tsamoru. And lastly, donkulu i gatlagu. The dog is big. Here are more examples using idza. Gatbu idza saipan. Saipan is splendid. Song song idza in a lahan. Inarahan is a village. And Gefsaga Idza Malesu. Maritsu is rich. Please note that the article Idza is actually not even necessary. In fact, Tsamorus would generally just drop Idza. For example, instead of Gabu Idza Saipan, Tsamorus would generally say Gabu saipan. And there's no difference in meaning between the two. I said before that it's up to us whether we want to perpetuate Idza or not. And we do this by using Idza. I try to use Idza as often as I can. Because I find Idza to be such a sexy word. I mean, just compare the two. Gabu saipan to Gabu idza saipan. Idza is so pleasing to the ear, and not only that, but it's so pleasing to say. It just rolls off the tongue to the next word. But enough about my love for idza. Let's move on to the next examples using C. Si. Loka si Jose. Jose is tall. Fafanagui si Maria. Maria is a teacher. 
and Malangu si John. John is sick. Examples using i, maguf i patgun, the child is happy. Madzulang i sadzan, the car is broken. And mangi i nengkanu, the food is delicious. To summarize the usage of the articles, idza is entirely optional, but si and e are necessary. Although it's not the end of the world if you forget to add these articles, as most Chamorros would be able to understand you. For example, if you said dikiki guma instead of dikiki igima, most Chamorros would know that you're saying the house is small. If you accidentally mix up the word ordering, so you say igima dikiki instead of dikiki igima, then you're diving into a grammatical feature known as topicalization. I will cover this in a future lesson. But just to tease you a little, both of the sentences mean pretty much the same thing, except that there's more emphasis on igima, the house, because it starts at the beginning of the sentence. However, I strongly advise you to not do this on purpose, as it's just going to cause more confusion, especially if you're a beginner. So please wait until I adequately cover this in a future lesson, and then you may freely do this as you please. Now, whether you noticed or not, the vowels for the common nouns have been changing when the article E is added to them. I'll repeat the most recent instance. Dikiki guma to dikiki igima. The vowel u in guma changed to i, gima. Why is this occurring? Find out in the next episode of Pulen Speaks Tsamoru. Seduce Masi for watching. This is Pulen Speaks, and Pulen has spoken. Astaki manali ihe tatlu, esta. Tumuhaneni, na